All right, here's the state of play with rep reproductive rights. As we know, Republicans removed the federal law allowing women to exercise the right to end a pregnancy. And I say Republicans because it's the judges they put in and this myth that we all live uh, under that these judges don't have any political inclinations. They vote with the party that puts them in power, left or right. So often we know the names of the ones who don't, okay? So let's just put that to the side. Now, what we have is a battle that's state by state. And we do know that mothers in states with limited rights to reproduction actions like abortion, okay, are much more likely to have problems and to even die. But there is division even among Republicans on this. In South Carolina last week, the state Senate struck down a law that would ban abortion starting at conception, failed by one vote. Why? Especially women on this. It's not as easy as it is just being opposed, and let's go as far as we can. My next two guests are both pro-life. One supports a total abortion ban, the other does not. Let's bring in South Carolina Representative uh, Melissa Oremus and State Senator Sandy Sen, who helped stop the bill banning abortion from becoming law. It's good to have you both. Thank you for participating in the discussion. Thank you. Let's, uh, <clears throat> let's turn this around for a second. Is there an area now, if uh, representative, if it's that you believe that all reproductive rights should be restricted when it comes to abortion, then maybe this is going to be a, just a quick no. But is there anywhere that you two agree in terms of what legislation would be um, OK for both of you? Um, I would think that we would agree, both being Republican pro-life women. Um, me being a teenage mother, I was 16 when I got pregnant. I was faced with that cho choice, and I chose life for my daughter. Um, so I see it through a whole different lens. And so I just don't understand how we can't be on the same page, knowing how many women are affected by this decision on a day-to-day -day basis. I have friends who have went through it, who've had abortions. I don't condemn them for that decision, but I know it's affected them for the rest of their life. Senator, uh, the representative does call it a choice, yet doesn't want to allow, allow one in law. What does that mean to you? What's the line? Well, to me, it would be, and I've just had to come down on this from a centrist point of view. Um, I certainly don't want any woman to have an abortion. And let me start by saying I'm very thankful that Representative Oramus did not have one. Um, that's exactly what I hope that all women will do. But there are certain women who, no matter what, they are they are going, they're determined that they're going to have an abortion, whether it's legal, whether it's safe or anything like that. I do not believe that you can force women to have birth. And because I want want women to stay safe and be safe and not revert to the days of coat hangers and and, uh, you know, all sorts of instrumentality or or letting drug dealers now instead they'll quit selling meth and start selling the abortion pill because they're even trying to take that away. I just do not believe that we should do that to women. And I'm so thankful that, like I said, that Representative Ramos had her daughter. But I think other people need to choose up to a point. And for me, that point is uh, first trimester. Uh, Senator, just a quick follow to you, then I'll come back to you, Representative. Uh, you are in favor of setting a line at 12 weeks. Is that accurate? Yes. yes. And I know a lot of people say that's not enough. Uh, I did not vote. I was the only Republican only that did not vote for the six week ban. And Representative Arama says they will not even take the six week ban up because they believe, and I think she's already been quoted as this, it's all or nothing. It's life at conception when the sperm hits the egg. Um, and so with that being the definition, I do believe it is going to be hard for us and others to agree, which is why, to me, um, I, I really think the federal government needs to pick it back up because the Supreme Court punted and they should not have. Mm. Well, I don't, I don't know that you're going to get anything through Congress, but I understand that. Uh, Representative, you've been shaking your head over there. Uh, please weigh in. Um, as part of the South Carolina Freedom Caucus, I know we have a bad um reputation out there in South Carolina saying we're all or nothing. It is not like that at all. Um, I just think that a woman should be educated on that issue. It's not, it's not a choice when you're thinking about another human life. It's another human life. I can't look at a child and say, oh, I chose not to have you. My life was more important than yours. And I do believe conception is the minute that the sperm touches the egg. I, I absolutely believe that. 
Um, what right. you believe and what you don't believe is up to you and God. But one thing I'm going to say is it's it's about the education of women. It's about knowing those choices. It's about knowing that you have a morning after pill out there that we should make more readily available. You have 72 hours where that pill will be effective, that it would just take the place of mutilating that child. Um, you say six weeks, it has a heartbeat. I know my I did in vitro fertilization for my twins. And after two and a half weeks of being viable and implanting in me, they had a heartbeat. And you can shake your head about that. I can bring my in vitro doctor on here and show you those facts. But the fact that just in 2022 alone, we had 7,200 abortions, a little more than that. That was just what was reported. And the number is just going to climb. People are coming into our states. I've got the numbers right here in front of me. And we had people from coming from out of state, you know, to get abortions in South Carolina. That is not who we are as a people. That is not who we are when we have a majority of Republicans in the House that are pro-life. I just, I'm, I'm dumbfounded by this. I think we need to come together, talk about legislation, for educating our teens, letting them know that there's other options out but there. you can do and both, you say that Representative. Just gonna get it. You, Sorry. You can do both. You can educate people and give people a right to determination who don't share your Christian faith, the senator's faith, my faith. I, I know what the church teaches. Uh, we're all in different churches, but uh, the teaching is basically the same. But that's not a scientific reckoning. That's not a legal reckoning of when a life becomes a person, right? And being a person in the law is very different, uh, right? That's when rights attach. That's when rights can be taken away. That's when people aren't seen as compus mentis anymore near the end of their life. Uh, and surely if we could draw that line, then we could draw it in the beginning. But we haven't decided to do that because we prefer this argument. In my estimation, I believe that it works better for politics than what we did with how we deal with aging. We figured out where the line is, where you can take away someone's rights to their own determination, making them no longer really a person. They can't decide their own fate. But we don't like it here. The, the problem is the representative said people are coming to your state senator. And that's exactly the problem that you create with every one of these bans is that women want this. Every time we poll, representative, senator, every time we poll, not only is over the majority of this country in favor of reproductive rights for women, but women are overwhelmingly in favor of it. So where does yes. this lead us, senator? Yes, it leads us to a catastrophe for our party representative, because if, if you and others keep saying that oh, it, it, this is all about church, forgetting the church and state and acting as though women don't understand, they're not educated to know what an abortion is. I mean, that that is just underplaying this whole problem. We have become an abortion destination, and that does make me very sad. But that's happening because all of the places up in you know, all the states along the eastern seaboard, they're doing the same thing. And once DeSantis is Florida actually enacts, you know, the, I think he's already signed it, but whenever it takes place, it's going to make it even worse. Think about the ladies from Miami who are going to have an abortion if they want one, one way or another. Um, they will have to travel all the way up the East Coast, and one vote is separating South Carolina from falling, and after that, you can better believe North Carolina will fall too, meaning that those women will somehow have to figure out how to get all the way up to the, you know, the Northeast in order to have an abortion or get on a boat and, and go to Cuba. It'll be easier for them. Yes, women are going to continue to have abortions. I don't want them to, and I know that they are going to have lifetime repercussions mentally. Maybe not. Maybe they know that that was just the best thing for them. But I don't sit in judgment of other people, and, and we shouldn't do that. We just should not sit in judgment. Representative, last word, and thank you both. Um, it's not about judgment. It's really not. It's about changing that mindset and letting everybody know that every life is worth it. That's what pro-life means. Right. The question is, do you have to take away a right uh, in order to explain to people what you believe is right? But I'll tell you what I love. A lot of people aren't going to like this. They're not going to like you two. They're not going to like me. They're going to say I was mansplaining, even though I'm here listening. But it doesn't matter because the conversation is key. On every issue where people don't want to listen, there'll never be change. And if nothing changes, nothing changes. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.